Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. I'm so glad you joined me today because today we were talking about cats and furniture scratching. So if this is an issue you were having, definitely make sure you stick around. Okay, so a lot of people tend to think that cats just really love destroying your stuff and nothing could be further from the truth because scratching is actually a very, very natural thing for cats to do. So let's talk about it. There are, it's, it's a very complex thing that cats do very natural and very essential for cats to do. Another really common thing is that people somehow seem to think that cats are intentionally destroying your furniture or whatever it may be that they are clawing at. Some people think that cats are like being mean or getting back at them for something and that it's like completely targeted at them. Again, this is, I, I can understand how people may feel this way, but again, is completely false. It is, again, very natural for cats to do this and only something that humans have decided to put upon cats that they think that cats are doing it intentionally just to make them mad. It's not the case at all. If you get absolutely nothing else out of this video, the number one thing I want you to get out of this video, if you get absolutely nothing else out of today's video is that 100% under no circumstance should you ever, never, ever, ever, ever declaw your cat. It's a cruel and inhumane practice. It can cause a lot. I've actually done a whole video on it and I will link it in the description below. I don't wanna to get too much into it in this particular video because I did get into it in another video. Again, I definitely recommend you do check that video out if you are even remotely considering it. Don't do it, it's cruel and inhumane. But let's talk about some other things that uh, why cats are actually clawing and some of the things you can do. So scratching is very good for your cat's claws because when they scratch, it does remove that outer like sheath, that outer layer of the nail, which should naturally shed. So scratching does help that to happen. Another thing that cats get out of scratching is that it gives them the ability to stretch their muscles, especially around their shoulders and in their upper back like nothing else they do, so, and, which is very, very healthy, soothing and relaxing for your cat to do. This is, again, all very natural and your cat just instinctively does this. Scratching also serves as kind of a marking behavior for cats in a couple of different ways. So whether your cat is indoors or whether a cat is outdoors, because we see this in wild cat species as well, the actual physical markings are indications that there is a cat in the area. So physically seeing the scratches on maybe trees or stumps or something like that, other species of animals, even other cats will see that and know that this is already another cat's territory. This lets you know other cats specifically know that there is another cat either currently in or has recently been in the area and it actually can help prevent confrontation between cats, which, you know, they really never want <laughs> confrontation, especially in the wild, because they can get really hurt. Another way that scratching is a marking behavior is because, so cats actually, when they are scratching, their paw pads actually leave an olfactory mark, meaning it leaves a scent um, on that particular area. So if another animal does get close enough to smell it, they will also know a lot about the cat in the area from the scent that the cat leaves on the tree or whatever it may be. And possibly one of the most important reasons that cats scratch is because it is a stress relieving behavior. Whether your cat is happy or anxious or stressed out or just frustrated, all of these, your, your cat is going to just naturally want to scratch to help get out some of that energy and emotion. So as I was saying at the beginning, scratching behavior is incredibly complex for a cat and very like vital and essential to being a feline. But I do understand as a cat mom myself that scratching up all of your furniture is not ideal. So there, you, there are some things we can do. We don't want to just 
punish or deter our cat from a specific area, we actually want to give them an alternative. And al an alternative that should actually be more, more appealing to your cat than what we're trying to direct them away from. So just like with dogs, we want to use positive reinforcement when our cat is exhibiting a behavior that we want. So when we provide them with the cat trees and the scratching posts and the cardboard scratchers and the sisal scratchers, we need to be able to provide plenty of appropriate scratching surfaces for our cat. We want them to be in different areas of the house. You might actually wanna put one right next to the couch if your cat is scratching the couch. So it's it, you're keeping them in the same area. They obviously like being in that area, but you can easily redirect them to the cat tree and reward when they are on the cat tree. I actually recently posted a video where I put together a cat tree and I gave you some tips at the end of that video. So I will link that down below as well to, the tips were specifically to help your cat become more attracted to it and actually use the cat tree and scratch on it and just providing some incentive to them. So I will link that video down below as well, but providing plenty of other scratching surfaces, rewarding that behavior when they do scratch the surfaces that are appropriate for them to scratch. And when they start scratching surfaces that we find inappropriate for them to scratch, redirecting them to a surface that is appropriate for them to scratch. Again, when we are picking out scratching posts, we want to provide our cats with all different shapes and sizes, but the height, we really need to take into account the height of a scratching post, especially if we are talking about a cat tree or any other sort of scratching post that we're, we're purchasing for our cat. We wanna make sure that it's tall enough that our cat can fully stretch out. Again, remember I was telling you that that stretching behavior is one of the reasons why it is important for cats to stretch because they really get into all of their, you know, upper back and shoulder muscles and get all of that stretching out. So we want to make sure that when we're purchasing different shapes and sizes, even different textures of scratching posts for our cat, that we are taking into account the length of our cat's body so that they have plenty of room to actually reach out and get a full length stretch. There are a couple of other things that you can do to help redirect your cat to appropriate scratching surfaces. One is gonna to be to whatever the inappropriate scratching surface, surface is, let's just say in this case it's a sofa, you can drape a sheet over it while you're training. You can also get, there's this like double-sided sticky material that is specifically made for this. It's not going to harm your cat and it, it goes on a piece of furniture in an area that your cat likes to scratch. So it's gonna to stick to the, say in this case, a sofa. And then the other side is also gonna be sticky, which your cat is not gonna like. So if they reach up to try to scratch, they're gonna get that sticky surface and that's gonna be a deterrent for them. They're not gonna to wanna to scratch there. But in addition, we want to make the other surfaces, the appropriate surfaces for them to scratch, potentially, you know, scratching posts or cat trees that we have purchased, we want to make them really desirable. We want to, again, like I was saying earlier, we want to put them in the areas that we know our cat likes to, to stretch out and scratch. So maybe that might be right next to your sofa. It also might be next to a really big picture window that your cat likes to hang out in. Um, in the other video, which I have linked down below, that I was talking about earlier, there is an essential oil from Animalio called Happy Cat, and it's really just um, fractionated coconut oil mixed with essential oil catnip, which is amazing. Catnip, um, I actually recently did a live video on catnip and some really interesting, uh, a really interesting study that recently came out of Japan. I'll link that in the description as well, because I think it's, it's all really incredibly interesting. But catnip, we can actually use that to help attract our cat to appropriate scratching surfaces. Again, all of that will be linked in the description below. Really, more than anything else, um, redirecting your cat to appropriate scratching surfaces and using positive reinforcement when they actually scratch on surfaces that are appropriate, um, that you, you know, there's a scratching post or a cat tree. That, those, that's gonna be your absolute best bet. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit better why cats scratch, 
how important it is that they do scratch and some really effective ways to train your cat to, a scra to scratch on appropriate surfaces. If you have any comments or questions, I do hope you leave them down in the description below. Also, make sure to check out the links in the description, specifically the first one to Patreon. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you guys joining me over on Patreon. It is really helping me to keep this channel going and you know keep updating you guys with new content. You are also going to get new and exclusive content over on Patreon that you're not getting anywhere else. Literally, I am posting this stuff nowhere else. It is only for my Patreon um, supporters. So definitely check that out. And yeah, if you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I hope you are subscribed. Look at that subscribe button down there. It is absolutely free to you to do so. So I hope you go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well because you're a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful pet parent. So I know you want to be subscribed. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I can't wait to see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.